Welcome to Garden Treasures, a video series featuring fresh produce locally grown at our own micro-urban farm, the Miramar Community Garden. We will take you to local restaurants, highlight prominent chefs, introduce you to farmers and other experts who are inspired by local ingredients and understand the importance of sustainable agriculture. Enjoy! Hi, I'm Sean Ben. This is my four-year-old son, Esteban. And we're making mutt today in another episode of Garden Treasures. Today we're gonna make mud and we're gonna start with the water. Esteban, how many bottles do we need today? Five. Five, okay. That's one. It's a lot of water. It is a lot of water. But we want our dirt to have a lot of water. Is that enough? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Oh, wait. I think you can hear me. Yeah, we mix it all up, all, and don't forget to break up the big pieces. Oh. And mushy. You are so good at making mud. <laughs> this is such a great time for he and I together. He learns so much about plants and about um, Mother Nature and reusing things to make new things grow. Um, he's very into wow. the compost and making sure that it has enough moisture. He um, has really started to understand Ooh. insects and how they work in the garden, how the spiders and the bat bugs. And he grows flowers to help bring butterflies and ladybugs to the garden. He's really putting a lot together here. He's gotten much better with his counting, um, his colors. The garden just offers so much variety. How many peppers can we count? learning environment that's fun and so he doesn't even realize how much he's learning. I've enjoyed it and plus we get to harvest and take stuff home to cook. <laughs> There's so much out here to see and do. Um, on a rainy day he gets to watch a little bit of TV but other than that it's just so much to explore and experience and I think they learn more from being in the outdoors. We take things home to cook. He knows the things that he likes and he doesn't like. The first thing when he comes to the garden, he looks for eggplants. We have silver eggplants and Italian eggplants. Those are probably his favorite. Oh, they're so cute. How many is that? Can we get this? Twist. And we twist, and we twist, and then we do what? Pull. Pull, pull hard. And he gets excited about the pineapple also. What's that? A pineapple! Yes! We take eggplant home um, and we use it in every meal. Omelets for breakfast, um, sandwiches for lunch and in dinner. Um, when we were growing beans, we grew beans. One of his favorites is strawberries. So we're planting strawberries today because he wants it out of his own garden. It's okay. We're gonna play again in a minute. strawberries together? Yes. Okay, so we need a hole about this big for our strawberries. It's really big. It's almost. Almost. I think so. We have to take the bottom off the pot first, remember? Good. 
good job. Yes, thank you. One. When we first came to the garden and we were putting in seedlings, his job was to water it lightly. He noticed as he was watering and he would push the soil that it was making mud. And he's like, Mom, it's making mud. I'm like, it is making mud. He said, I want to make more mud for all the plants. So he, we used the wheelbarrow anyway. We were pulling weeds. We typically wet it and add it to the compost. Um, so he decided to start making mud and putting it on top of the seedlings as well as watering. So it was his idea. Now on the plant, remember just around the plant. Very good. Oh, that's good bud. It needs some over on this side. Very good. And that's enough. I think the parsley's gonna make.